So here in this exercise, we're being asked to integrate 3x divided by the square root of x squared plus 1. So as a student, the first thing you have to think about is what integration technique would work best for, for this particular problem. And it varies problem to problem. Uh, a couple of things that, that I notice about this one that just kind of stand out to me is that there's a big fraction here. Um, I, I don't think this is going to be like a log rule where you have like du over u or anything like that. Um, I noticed you could rewrite this with a negative exponent and create a product, but unfortunately we don't really have a great integration technique for products other than integration by parts, which this doesn't really look like that either. One thing we certainly can't do is integrate the numerator and denominator separately. We, we certainly can't do that. So it looks like we're pretty much stuck all the way around, but, but then I noticed something. I, I noticed in this denominator, I have composition. And whenever you see composition, it's a, a good idea to, to look at u substitution. It, it may not necessarily be u substitution, but oftentimes it is. And sure enough, uh, if you try letting the u be the inside of the two composed expressions as we normally do, so we'll let u be x squared plus 1, um, then it turns out that, that this works pretty well. Let's, let's see how the rest of the math plays out. This is u. Uh, if I want to change this integral to be written in terms of u, then I also need a du instead of a dx. So du would be the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, followed by a dx, right? So uh, when we go to change everything out, everything almost works out pretty well. This would be the integral. You'd have division by the square root of u, right? But to get a du, I need a 2x dx. And unfortunately, I have a 3x dx. So here's a, an algebra technique that we do all the time. You can pull out this 3. Since we don't need it, this doesn't have a 3. And, but we, we do want a 2. So if you want a 2, you can stick a 2 in the numerator and balance it with a 1 half on the outside. So currently on the outside of the integral, we'd have a, a 1 half times the 3 that you just pulled out. And then the 2x dx, if you keep an eye on these terms, the 2, the x, and the dx, all three of these are equivalent to du. So you could either write the du right here in the numerator, or the way I think I'm going to write it is I'll write 1 over the square root of u times du. You can take that numerator and just set it off to the side like this. So now when you look at this integral, that, that's much, much simpler than the way this original integral looked. So um, let's integrate this guy. So we'll have three halves, that's three times a half, times the integral of one over the square root of u. Now, now that doesn't look very nice. That doesn't look like a, a, a straightforward basic integration rule. As a matter of fact, we're very limited in what integral rules that we do have. Um, so oftentimes we have to rewrite these integrals so that they look more like one of the basic integrals. So we'll re rewrite this guy as u to the minus one half. That's one over the square root of u. The square root is the half. And because it was in the denominator, we could write it with a negative exponent. And, and then it's obvious, and then it's clearly the power rule, right? Because it's written as a power. So we'll have three halves, and we'll add one to this exponent, so it'll become u to the positive one half, that's negative one half plus one. Now you could say divided by one half, but this, usually when you're dividing by another fraction, a better way to do that instead is to multiply by the reciprocal. So we'll instead multiply by two over one and then plus c. So final answer, these twos will cancel, so you have three. This one-half power is a, a big square root. We'll have plus c, and rather than saying three square root of u plus c, since the original integral was written in terms of x, our answer needs to be in terms of x. So if you look right here, here's what u is. u is the same as x squared plus one. So for our last step, we can take that u out and swap out an x squared plus 1, and we're done.